Uh, before I start, if you guys need interpreter in Italian, Bulgarian, Russian, Macedonian, you can request me. There is an email on my YouTube channel on the description box below. I'm certified with experience in business, medical, banking, fraud insurance, and any other topic, U6 interview, whatsoever you need, you can feel free to contact me. Uh, before I start, guys, uh, I like to tell you that I normally create this rubric called uh, note taking for interpreter, especially for simultaneous interpreters. Or consecutive for simultaneous you don't have as much time but for consecutive interpreter you can click on that folder and find all the secrets that I share with you or abbreviations related to note-taking uh, this special folder of my youtube channel is dedicated to medical interpreters and terminology you need to know or you need to have idea before you go to work I did a training, a very intensive one. I have a, that big book about body system. So now, so far, on the medical terminology, there is about nine videos, I believe, related to cardiovascular system. I repeat, I am not a doctor. I am not a physician. I am just an interpreter. And this is simple ways to understand medical terminology to learn a medical terminology, to understand a little bit our body systems and to, uh, to be ready for our encounters. If you're just a medical student, here you're going to find information on digestive system. We are going to talk in a simplified way about digestive systems. You could use these videos as general culture to understand your own body and to be ready uh, to uh, interpret in medical encounter i'm gonna start again so guys you can smile but i'm starting again with one of my paintings here this is my digestive tract system i did this painting uh myself i call it painting it's just a graphic uh, so if you're trying to learn medical terminology and if you are trying to uh remember your body system i guys guarantee you if you do this painting as i call them where you color each body's part with different colors and you write uh you write it what is it i have did it again here you write what is it and then you try to understand what's the function of it Logically, in a simple way, it's going to be really, really easy for you to remember it. Because when you get your senses involved, to repeat again, there is a video that I created about memory techniques, how to improve your memories. So if you uh, write it down or if you, if you paint it, you get the creative part of your brain. If you use the color, you... Uh, attach another part of your brain and if you use words or writing another part of your brain and if you read what you write you use your visual senses again and this related to another center of your brain and if you use your logical memory to remember something this relate to another center of your brain so all these brain centers get involved together and this help you to really really remember whoever is watching me on instagram thank you guys i'm talking about interpreting so this is how to remember medical terminology these hacks i use uh, to remember the system and today we are going to talk about digestive system and what digestive system is in a simplified way and why we need to know about it as an interpreter guys you gonna use those general terminology and before i go to give you just the terminology and note takes and i want to make sure that you understand in general the picture of digestive system and trust me guys you are going to benefit from that on a daily basis as a medical interpreter Okay, so the function of digestive system is to absorb food, 
through the mouth uh, and, da, 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 and process and help the digestive uh, function of the body. Uh, so the saliva, so let's see where, where I want to start. Okay, gastroenterology is uh, organs called in tube that start from the mouth and go through the anus of the body. They, they separate them into organ hollows and then uh, more like call them solid organ. The solids are liver and the gallbladder. The, health, the hollow organs are mouth. Uh, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and anus. But before I start, guys, we all know what is our mouth. This is my mouth I'm using to talk with. I like to talk a little bit about the liver, the gallbladder, and the pancreas, also solid organs. Okay, so the liver is the largest organ of the body. We already talked about it in another another video, I'm pretty sure. So the function of the liver is normally, it's like the, the cleaning organ of the body, get rid of the alcohol and the toxins or, or not so good uh, chemicals in the body. It also produces a liquid called bile. Uh, I'm saying those things, guys, because as a medical interpreter, you need to know what is the, what is the bill. Bill is a juice that have the digestive system, which is stored in the gallbladder and get released uh, in the small intestine. Okay, this is what the liver. The gallbladder is place where the bill or this uh, digestive juice is uh, stored. Uh, in a medical interpreter, you're going to have a, a lot or quiet. It's quite common to have a gallbladder removal. It's called gallbladder ectomy, which is removal of a gallbladder, or in Italian, it's colicciste, I believe. So uh, we can live without our gallbladder, and the procedure related to gallbladder is removal. The, the another small part inside or under our liver, it's called pancreas. We know the pancreas as a muscle or whatsoever, but the pancreas, it's again um, producing juices that release to, into the small intestine and also uh, pancreas is related to our hormone system and uh, we gonna study more about the pancreas when we talk about endocrine system but so you guys know uh, the liver and the gallbladder and the pancreas are related to the breaking of the food to digestive system and they're called so-called uh, solid organs okay so uh, another thing that i like to talk about is that in the gastrointestinal tract there is a bacteria called gut flora or microbiome that help digestions and the digestive system is uh, also related to the nervous system and the hormone system to the bacteria and the blood and the other organs all this flora inside it's also related to the bill and to the endocrine system, which is our hormonal system, nerve system, the responsive system. They're all related together, but um, we just want to know that in general, we don't want to go directly into detail. We are not a doctors. We are there only to interpret. So our job is to understand uh, who is there to understand what is happening on our digestive system. So how the, the food get breaks, I will just read it for you guys. General culture, you don't need to remember, just try to understand the general picture of gastroenterology. Uh, so the digestive system breaks the food to nutrients and to small parts until they get absorbed uh, by the blood, okay? So the proteins get break to amino acid, the fats break to acetone glycerol, and the carbohydrates get break to sugar, sugars in the body. So whoever want to lose weight, they all uh, get uh, this uh, diet low carbs because less sugar, less fats, right? clear, right? Uh, okay, we talk about, okay, 
I'm not going to talk a lot about the salivary glands, but they are located here on the throat and somewhere here and here, and they are the ones that they release saliva. But I'm going to talk a little bit about how the muscle walls work and how we accept food in the body. And you need to know that because as a medical interpreter, you're going to do a swallow test quite often, guys. Okay. Uh, let's talk before I go to that. Let's talk about a small intestine. I'm just going to say, guys, it have three parts. The first one is called duodenum from Latinus jejunum, and ideum is the end part. The large, uh, the large intestine is uh, really, it's created by appendix chechum. I don't even know if I produce it correctly. This again, Latinx colon and rectum. Um, let me see if I miss something. Esophagus. It's the uh, the tube that is go from the throat to the stomach. Uh, we use it also to breathe. Uh, of course, the stomach, we know what the stomach is. Okay, how the food move in our, uh, move in our gastrointestinal system or tract. Um, the process is called peristalsis. Peristalsis is something that the doctor use sometimes when they talk, when they do the swallowing test, especially in the elderly or people that had surgery, have some kind of a problems there. They will talk about this peristalsis process. This is the process of the, the movement of the food from the mouth to the throat. Okay, we talk about the organs, what I miss, okay how we swallow. So when we put the food in our mouth, uh, there is a, so how our nerves work, there is one part of our uh, mouth that push the food and, and the muscle that is related right behind it, it's relaxed and so let it move forward. So the food moved from the mouth uh, to the, uh, this part here where it's located, something called epiglottis. Epiglottis, when we have food fold and close the windpipes and help the food moving down to the esophagus. Inside of the esophagus or this muscle sphincter, uh, it's a muscle tube. The food get uh, with automatic nervous system get pressed down to the uh, something called lower esophagus sphincter. The sphincter is like a tight, like a pipe end, or it's like a tidying ring. This sphinx, sphinx, sphincter, sphincter, I believe it's called. Um, it's a muscle that push the food to the stomach. Normally, this sphincter is closed. It's like a pipe that closes the stomach. And if sometimes it's not working quite well, we suffer something called stomach acid reflex. So what is the stomach acid reflex? Is the sphincter doesn't close and the stomach acid goes up to the trachea and to the mouth. And that's why people take medicine. This is also something very, very common in medical interpreting. So they do a special test, but the sphincter, if it's not closing well, if there is some kind of a nerve dysfunction, we have that problem. Inside the stomach, the food gets mixed with the digestive juices that normally we already know. They come from the liver and from the gallbladder. This digestive juice is called bile. Um, after this get break in a smaller pieces, move to the small intestine where we receive digestive juices build that it comes from the gallbladder and in the after it gets digested, absorbed, the food get goes to the large intestine uh, in a form of a waste where the water get absorbed and uh, it get create a stool. The stool it's uh, stored in the rectum until our muscle system make us have a bowel movement. 
all the words that I use in this video and all this is a general general explanation of gastroenterological system or digestive system guys you need to know all these small terms small large intestine because when you deal with any kind of a medical interpreting in gastroenterological system doctors are going to use it also uh, and uh, so on one part of the the large intestine we have the rectum and then the anus and on another part which is normally our right side we have the appendix what i'm what i'm gonna i'm gonna just talk a little bit about the appendix appendix is a small and like right here it's that small i believe it's just three centimeters i watch myself appendix remover remover for my job but appendix is a small, small part where a toxin part get accumulated, the toxins of the food, and sometimes it get inflammated, and that's why we have appendectomy, which is removal of the appendix that takes part of the system. So I didn't uh, mention it, but you gotta know about it. Okay. I think that was our digestive system general knowledge for medical interpreter guys if you're just students that's easy as pie just imagine how it's work imagine when you eat how uh, your parts are functioning with each other how the nervous system the reflex system uh, are uh, making all this magical process of eating food tasting food and whatsoever and so ever Thank you for being here. That was everything. That was our first video related to gastroenterological or digestive system or GI tract. The next video is going to be a problems related to a GI tract. Again, this is going to be for medical interpreters. Stay tuned and uh, stay updated. Thank you for being here and have a good day. Bye-bye.